Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Mohsen and I'm here with you with the last episode of the Retrofit tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you three more annotations, put, patch and delete. We are using the put and patch uh, to update the stored data in the server and we are using the delete annotation to delete a specific part of the data. If you are ready, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button and let's get started. Again, we are in the JSON placeholder website, which is a fake API to test uh, the retrofit library. Uh, we use uh, these annotations get get, and uh, in the last video we used this, uh, and now we are going to use the put patch and delete. Uh, take a look at the endpoints here. That means we are working with the posts and this number one uh, is the ID of this post that we are going to update it. So uh, as you take a look at here, we had like hundreds of uh, different users uh, by different IDs. And uh, if you want, for example, edit this uh, ID, like number 78 in the end point we should use the 78 let's go back here i'm clicking on this and i'm in the uh, data of the id number one if i change uh, this end point to maybe five and press enter and you see now i have access to id number five data so we are going to choose a random number as id and update it of course that uh, we will not see this kind of data here in the website because it's a fake api uh, but we will get back the response just like the post and we will uh, display this response and again the response code and we will see that response code also in our application uh, for the uh, put and patch and delete, we are going to get, we are going to receive uh, the response code 200. That means uh, the process is successful. Uh, let's go back to the Android Studio and see uh, this process. Okay, here in the API interface, uh, we had some functions and now we are going to create two more functions uh, first of all let's start with the uh, put and alt and enter to import then the uh, endpoint so it was uh, post then a slash here curly bracer and i'm going to use id then here a suspend function i'm going to call it uh, put user or put post no matter it's just a name okay and here we need uh, two placeholders first of all the path and here i'm going to pass an id and creating a variable here with the type of integer then comma and the next one will be the body and this is instance of the class user then again the same as the other uh, functions the response will go back to the class user okay here for the patch everything will be the same so i'm going to copy this and paste it here instead of the put i'm going to use patch
okay as you see uh, the rest of the parts are completely the same okay why do we need uh, two different uh, annotation to update the data uh, so why we don't use one of them only let me explain it to you let's go to the website json placeholder i'm in the data uh, related to the id number two consider i'm passing uh, new data but i don't change uh, or i don't send any value for the title if i'm using the put annotation the server will change the whole uh, user data and uh, this uh, text will be gone and instead of it uh, the server will put a null but if i'm using the patch and i'm sending the user id and the body but i don't send anything for the title this text remains unchanged and uh, will remain constant as the uh, part of the user okay uh, let's go back to the android studio and i will show you this right now okay we are done here for now let's go to the main activity uh, here uh, I'm going to create a function call it put request and here private function put request okay uh, let me copy this uh, codes here that we use for the post and uh, just do some changes in it okay we had uh, the global scope block and here uh, try catch to send the data and uh, we have created a user here again we need this user so i'm going to import it okay let me change it to put body and instead of the title i'm going to pass the null but i should go to the uh, class and make it new level okay i have the body id null and uh, the title null and the user id 23 and here uh, 23 again and uh, i don't need this part and instead of this i'm going to pass the user and instead of this function i'm going to use the put post okay then we had to catch block to check the response and uh, display the received data here okay it seems that everything is ready so let's uh, check it uh, on the emulator okay the id is 23 and the user id is 23 the title is null and uh, the body is put body as you see the server uh, changed uh, the title to the null and uh, let's go to the next part and later we'll compare these two together okay the same a new function
okay everything will remain the same here patch post again in the same uh, id and with the same data but this time i'm going to change it to the patch let's check it okay i didn't pass any data for the title and uh, the existing text as the title remains here but the body has a new value and the user id also has a new value uh, if we check it in the website it will be more clear let's go to the placeholder here uh, user 23 and here is my emulator and you see this is the body and we change this body to the uh, patch body and this is the text it's here the user id was 3 and now is 23 so we had uh, two variables changed and two variables unchanged okay let's go back to the android studio and i will show you how to use delete annotation again here we are in the api interface and i'm going to create a new uh, suspend function with the uh, delete annotation uh, of course we have to pass the same endpoint uh, with id placeholder and the function itself okay there is no body only we need a path and the same as the top id again id with a type of integer okay we are not going to receive any uh, response for this part uh, but uh, we will receive the code so here we can write the same to the class user or you can use uh, the call instead of the response to call and instead of the user you can use unit okay let's go back to the main activity and here again a new function again same okay everything is good and uh, here we don't need any value and we don't need any user I'm going to change it to delete post and we are going to delete the ID number 23 and the response code should be 200 let's check it okay so there is no data in this uh, id null 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 and uh, the code is 200 uh, that means the process was successful okay that was everything about the retrofit library 
uh, here we covered some of the annotations and of course we have uh, a lot of uh, more different annotations and uh, you can use them based on your projects i hope you like this video if so please leave a like and if you have any request write down below in the comment box and i will be so happy to answer to your questions uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be aware about new videos i will see you in the next videos with some practical applications using retrofit library